16 gates, and what do you get? Rather frustrated and slightly upset. But I've written out all 16 truth tables on the board, and now I'm going to build all 16 circuits. All right, so let's start with the circuit that is always one in the output, no matter what the inputs are. What we have to do there is choose something that is true no matter what, that mentions one of the inputs. So it's kind of traditional, slightly Shakespearean. I'm going to put an OR gate here and a NOT here, and then I'm just going to wire those up. So it's B or not B, and that's one question sorted. All right, moving along. Now we've got 0, 1, 1, 1. We're counting down from 15 to 0. What have we got here? We have got something that looks exactly like OR. So let's do it that way. Here's OR. Wire it up. Wire it up. Very good. All right. Now, 1, 0, 1, 1. From top to bottom, what have we here? Well, we can see that if A is true, the output's definitely true. And if B is false, the output's definitely true. So this could well be A or not B. The fact that one case is covered twice is not a problem. We've covered in this case here, uh, in fact, both A and not B are the case, but that's, uh, that's no big deal. Moving along, top to bottom, 0, 0, 1, 1. Well, what is this? This is exactly the same as A. So if you use any components, you've made expensive wire. Let's use cheap wire. All right. Next up, very similar to one we had a moment ago, we can see that here we get a 1 coming out either if A is false or B is true. So I'm going to just put a NOT gate in there and wire B up directly. Okay, we're doing all right. 0, 1, 0, 1, top to bottom, we can see that the output is the same as B. So this is another job for a piece of wire. But this is the most exciting one. It's our old friend, the equality test. I may struggle to fit it into this tiny space, but what do I do? I make a knot. I make a knot here. there and it's either the or got an and so if I connect my two knots up to that and and that's one option and I connect my positive signals up to another and it's my other option so this and is coding up the top row of the truth table, it's saying if they're both false, the output's true. And this AND is saying, uh, coding up the bottom row of the truth table, if the inputs are both true, the output's true. So this is our equality test. Okay. And finally, for the green circuits, the ones with the green truth tables, I've got 0, 0, 0, 1, and that is recognisable as AND. Okay. Now for sectarian balance, the other half of the truth tables I have written in orange. And I have arranged for the orange truth table in this picture to be directly under the exact opposite. So here where we have the outputs being 1, 1, 1, 1 for the green circuit, for 15 for circuit number 0, uh, they're all 0. They're all exactly the opposite of that. And I can fix that just by saying no to the green circuit. The orange circuit says no, so it negates the output of the green circuit. 
Okay, and similarly here, this orange circuit is the exact negation of this green circuit. And this orange circuit is the exact negation of that green circuit, and so on all the way along. So by arranging them in pair, pairing up each one with its exact opposite, we get uh, we buy one and get one free. All we have to do is uh, negate the correct thing. So for example, here where we have one 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 zero, that's negated and and. Here, where we previously had just a wire from B, we have exactly not B in the orange circuit. So there we are, 16 gates, but we only made 8. To get the other 8, we just had to negate 